Good morning. <coughs> Till I've not spoken already. Good morning. I thought I would do a little day in the life of myself, obviously. Uh, oh God, this is not getting off to a good start. But yeah, I thought I'd just do a day in the life. I've not done one for a while. I've not really got anything planned. I'll be working. Well, you'll see. But I just thought I want just to share a day in the life. I love watching these types of videos from other people because I'm so nosy. So I thought maybe if you're nosy and you want to see what I'm up to. So yeah, I've just got up. I'm going to get some breakfast. Um, and yeah, I'll chat to you in a mo. This smoothie is amazing. So it's got in it spinach, bananas, um, oh god, it's like a bag, like a mixed bag of like, I think it's papaya, pineapple, and mango. It is unreal. Oh, and then I've got um, like frozen bananas in this with like a bit of coconut sugar on top. I think because I've not really been doing that much riding, not got anything like in the diary, to, like any events or anything. I've not been eating that great. <laughs> like the other day, I had Turkish, don't judge me by the way, I had Turkish delight for my breakfast. <laughs> Do you know what Turkish delight is? It's basically just like, for sweets. Uh, I didn't, I couldn't be bothered to go to the shop. I didn't have anything. And I was like, oh, and I got them for my birthday. I didn't, I mean, I didn't eat the old box. I ate a fair amount of it though. I love Turkish Delight. Let me know if you like the Turkish Delight as well, because it was so good. But yeah, I feel better when I'm actually eating like actual foods. So now I'm gonna watch a bit of YouTube while I have my breakfast. And then I'm gonna start work. And then I'm gonna try and head out on the bike because it's been raining all morning and it's, it's breezy, but I'm gonna try and get out. So let's um, let's get right. Right, right, I'm ready to go. I'm actually in full winter kit. I've got winter boots, tight, like full length tights, rain jacket. Uh, but I thought I would add in a little bit of a beauty segment uh, because I see a lot of questions about SPF, especially in summer. You're like when it sweats and goes in your eyes. I'm like, oh, I can't find one that doesn't sweat and like go gross in your eyes. So I thought I would share, so I've just put it on. I always put SPF on, even in winter, because I'm outdoors, just to protect the skin. Um, and so I thought I'd share two of my favorite ones. This is the cheaper one, this is from Superdrug. It is some factor 50. And I really like that to take on if I'm gonna go away for a few days, because I can use it on my body, and it's like a fiver. And it doesn't make, it doesn't have that like, when you put some sun cream on it, it just makes your face just go completely white, or your arms really white. It doesn't do that, which I really like. Um, and then the other one, like this is, bougie this is fancy stuff and it's very expensive um oh god it's oh, i've used so much of it already it's sun factor 50 as well uh this is charlotte tilbury um i think it was about 35 pounds i think i can't remember um but that is unbelievably nice um yeah i really like that i bought that as a little treat to myself winter boots not my favorite uh socks right across britain socks some of my favorite local, local climb Ashy Valley you're probably fed up with seeing me up here but look at it it's just beautiful even though it's a little grey a little bit wet I just love 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 doing this little loop probably takes me about an hour also you might not be able to hear me but I wanted to share again actually because I love this product so much and I'll be really honest it's a product that I actually didn't think that I would need and now I've got it I'm like how did I live without it honestly it's one of the best cycling products I've ever used but equally the one that I didn't think I'd ever have any use for the quad lock honestly I was just like I use a bike computer why would I ever need a quad lock but it's so handy for like long rides short rides have music on there reroute you can find local cafes I just really like it Right, I'm gonna head back though. Tell you what though, I definitely overdressed. I am sweating like mad. But... So I've just got back from the ride and it was a little bit wet out. So this is my lazy way of cleaning my bike in a flat slash apartment, whatever you are. Get a towel, get some cleaner. That is squirt um, like cleaner as well. I really like it, it's just diluted with water. Spray it onto a towel. And I'll just wipe my bike down. And I find that if you do this after every like little bit of 
like muck on your bike. You don't ever get it built up to the point where you need to take it outside. So I'll just do like a little, little clean down every time. And actually the chain is okay because it's got squirt lube on it, um, which is a wax, which basically repels all the water and all the grime and stuff. So yeah, the chain's all right. It's just the actual frame and all the, around the brakes and stuff that just need a wipe. Also as well, the reason that I'm cleaning it is because it's going on the turbo. And I, I can't stand having a dirty bike on the turbo. I just, I don't know, I can't hack it. So, uh, because, I mean, you've seen by the weather, it is Zwift season again, so I've got my first uh, Zwift race for, God, for ages. So the bike is now on the turbo ready. And I wanted to ask you for your opinion, actually, and your advice, because I'm potentially gonna look at getting, do you like an actual bike train, so not one that you put your bike on? Just been reading loads of good reviews about them. Um, and I kind of want to try it just so that I don't have this faff of if my bike's dirty, cleaning it every time I put it on the turbo. And obviously with winter coming, I'm going to be on the turbo a lot on Zwift. So if you've got any like of the Watt bike, there's a there's a Watt bike, a kicker bike, stages do one as well. If you've tried any of them, let me know what you, how you've got on with it and whether you'd recommend them because I might look into getting one. All right, now the bike is all set up. Um, yeah, ZRL, which is the Zwift Racing League, is it starts tonight and I am so excited. It's basically a league of like just teams, men and women's teams like all over the world and you all race and it starts tonight. I think it's until, is it November? There's like different um, like seasons of it, but I absolutely love doing it. I, if you want me to, I'll live stream one of the races because it is amazing tonight. It's the first one and we've got a time trial. So I think there's six of us in it. Um, but it's just like, don't be intimidated. Give Honestly, give it a go because it's it's really fun. And there's all different categories. I can explain this in another video, but um, so that you'll be racing against people of your like, like strength, I guess, um, and of your like power. Um, I really, really love it. I'm a little bit scared because I've not really done any training. I've not really done that much riding. Um, so yeah, we'll see how we get on. So now I'm gonna um, do some work on my computer. So I've got a lot of email. What else have I got to do actually? I'll have a look. Uh, some emails. I've got to film and edit some stuff. Right, I'm gonna carry on doing some work now. And I'll catch up with you. Right, I'm going to be brutally honest. I was quite sceptical about trying or using Quadlock only because I've always used a bike computer and I just thought it was for people that wanted to use, you know, Strava or something as they're riding to follow routes and stuff. However, I have found that I think it's probably the product that I never knew that I needed cycling wise, but I use every single day and not just the cycling stuff, I'm going to show you that in a bit. Um, but like for instance now, like I have the desk stand like just on like on my um, desk as a desk stand. But I use it on my bike when I'm out, like pretty much every ride now, just because I have my music on there or a podcast. Also as well, you just see my Zwift set up, ideal for having it on your bars for using the companion app so that you can obviously use that while you're using on Zwift. Because I used, used to, um, that didn't make sense, did it? Um, but I always used to like balance it on the sofa at the side of me. And so I didn't always use power ups because I was like, oh, I can't reach my phone. Whereas when you've got it on there, it just makes the experience so much better. Um, I should say they're very kindly sponsored this video. How it works is it's just like that. It fits onto your phone case, but you can actually buy that just to stick on your existing phone case. You don't need to buy the specific case. Um, you can buy like the little sticker that makes your phone case, your current one, into a quad lock. But I also use it for, um, there's one that you can put on the top of a, like a tripod mount, uh, which I do use if I'm ever doing Instagram lives, um, which is really handy. So yeah, just thought I would add that in because it was very windy earlier. So now I'm gonna get back to doing some more work. I usually come out to get some ingredients for a cake that I'm making tomorrow. Um, but I had a bit of a, bit of a panic <laughs> I've got one tea bag left I was like right I need to get out gone now I need to go and get some more tea bags so uh, I'm gonna head to the shop now I thought I'd take you along also this thing is incredible so it's a wireless charger so basically this is the other thing that I use pretty much every day you put that into it and then once you start the engine up it just charges it there's a cable there but it just means you don't have to have like your iPhone cable so when I'm going on my little van adventures I know that I've always got um 
obviously somewhere to be able to navigate and to charge so before i used to have before i had quad lock i did have like a little um like a mount that went in the vents but the the phone case i used to have wouldn't fit in that so every time i get in the car and want to navigate i'd have to take the thing out of the case and i'd, I'd have my uh, credit card or card in the back of it so I have to chuck that out put it in and then if I wanted to charge it I'd have to make sure that I bring the charging cable but the wireless charger is just in there all the time so you just don't have to think about it you've always got somewhere to be able to navigate and to charge so especially going on these like long trips that I've been doing um it's just ideal like when I went up to Scotland and over to the coast it's just ideal for that honestly I'm so impressed again it's one of those things that I never realized that I thought I would need and now I've got it I would be lost without it so yeah very impressed with it so now I better get off to the supermarket because I need me some tea bags it is whiff time This was what I was on about earlier, being able to use uh, the quad lock thing for my phone on it so I can get the dashboard and then be able to use power ups and stuff. Right, I'm going to head off. We've got 20 minutes before the race starts, so I'm going to do a bit of a warm up. I'll catch up with you after the race. That was really rough. <laughs> I was so bad, I couldn't even finish it. So basically, on the um, the TTs, you have a group of six, and four of, is the first four to cross the line, and I was flailing, I was like, go without me, save yourself. So, oh, I think it's because I've literally done, I've said this a million times, I've not done much riding recently. I haven't, and it shows. Um, but yeah, I thought I would just share my day with you. I'm gonna go and have some tea now. I don't feel that hungry, to be honest, but I'll have a little bit of something, head to bed, and then tomorrow, edit this video. So, hope you've enjoyed the day with me. If you like this type of video, uh, leave it in the comments and tell me that you want more of them, and I will do more. Your wish is my command. Um, I actually really like doing these videos just because it's just more like chatting. I just talk to you about more things, and yeah, I like letting you into my life, I guess. Painting my nails too, what do you think of them? And, uh, do you know what I have stepped my jewelry off I can't have any like I have quite a bit of jewelry on I can't have it on it just winds I don't know whether anyone's the same but do you know like on Zwift I can't hack it like moving around or me feeling like ugh anyway I'm gonna go thank you so much for watching see you next video oh, this lens is really dirty oh it's even worse do it with that one then dry it with the Zwift one the tea bags have been purchased. Purchased? <laughs>